Hi. In this uh, clip, uh, sort of variations on a theme about total procurement costs, because the more times we go through it, and the different ways we look at it, the more comfortable we get with it. And uh, it's helpful, I think, you know, both internally and even when, when we go out and sell, uh, to try to come up with uh, phrases that uh, get across, a, you know, a, a, a bigger concept. So uh, if we look at different trade-offs within the 11 elements of TPC, a very common one would be a bargain price, uh, high shopping costs. So uh, when, for example, we're young and we first get out of college with all sorts of student loan debt and, you know, no job, and so we've got a lot of time, but we don't have much money, um, the value of our time is very low. And so we think, well, I'm just going to shop, 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 shop until I get the lowest price. I'm going to go into different places and do the little apps, bar code can, and then go back to Amazon, you know, shopping, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to find the really best thing. And so we do find real price savings, but at, at, at you know, a, a, a cost per hour that, that uh, you know, we're not really computing. Well, as we get into, you know, commercial corporate uh, environments, look at all the attendant overhead and uh, employee benefit costs and so forth of people, the, the costs really go up quite a bit. So uh, that's, a, that's a common trap is to, to, to say, I'm going to get priced, but I, I'm going to overspend, overinvest on my shopping costs. Another variation would be bargain price, uh, bargain service. So the, the guy with the lowest price has to be quoted the lowest price because they have nothing else to sell. Uh, they, they, uh, it's an old Marx Brothers joke where a woman comes in and beats Grouch up and duck soup about, you know, he charges a dollar for the chicken. And he says, well, Grouch says, well, can you get it somewhere else for less? And she goes, yeah, down the street for 60 cents. And he's, Groucho says, well, why don't you go buy it there? She said, well, they don't have any chickens today. And he, and he said, ah, well, the next time I don't have any chickens, I'll, I'll sell it to you for 40 cents. So it's, you know, literally it's an old joke. Uh, another one would be uh, bargain price, huge carrying costs. In the last slide, we talked a little bit about you know big channel buys, forward buys, channel loading programs, which is really uh, let's spend a lot of money to come with a big program to bribe everybody in the channel to forward you know buy all they're going to need for the next three, four, or five months. Now makes our numbers look better for right now, but then they collapse for the next three, four, or five months, and we're not really creating any more demand, and we're teaching customers to buy price as opposed to one, buy the brand that we're selling and to buy the best total economic value. So you start to realize, gee, I, I, can't, I can't go out and really sell uh, service value and that I have the lowest total procurement cost, maybe at a higher price, and then come around the, other, the next day and say, oh, by the way, we have a channel loading program. We got 10 off if you load up uh, you know, an exploding amount. Um, because we're just going right back into a to a, a trap and getting getting off that path towards move, moving towards win-win total supply chain benefit for both partners. Um, another uh, name would be uh, zero just-in-time inventory uh, for miscellaneous stuff. Uh, just-in-time works for big dollar buys and big dollar inventory that takes up a lot of space, but if the item is you know, immaterial as far as the space it takes up and the amount of money that's tied up in it, like like selling rubber washers at a true value hardware store, um, then you don't want to do a just-in-time system. The, 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 the friction of the, of the system is going to be much greater than, than the, uh, the, 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 the benefits you have from having less space or inventory tied up, which is basically negligible. Um, and uh, be fluent with these things, it, it helps to start to practice with case studies. And so uh, as we go through these eclipses, we'll talk more and more about uh, high cost to serve customers and we'll analyze why they're high, high cost to serve. And then when we go out to try to gently uh, get the customer to look at a more uh, all encompassing way of buying, which will benefit both of us, lowering our total procurement cost, or their total procurement cost and our cost to serve. Uh, we'll, we'll start to use these terms, hopefully. Thank you.